Hey everybody, B Rad here. Uh, today um, we're going to be working on this Stage 1 scooter kit um, from Scooter Works for the Buddy 125. Uh, I've got a little over, I think, 1100 miles on it right now. Um, first off, I'll show you what the kit comes with. Um, got the stainless steel pipe there real nice you get a spring for the CVT you got the rollers three um, different size jets you get a 95 a hundred and a hundred and five um, and you also get this hardware package it's got a new exhaust gasket a couple of spacers um, some washers, two new bolts, and two lock washers. Also, you get uh, these instructions. They're pretty good, really. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, though. At least for the exhaust. Um, I'm not going to be installing the um, compression spring or the rollers tonight. Um, I'm going to do a little more research on these to see what size weights and what uh, size spring would be the best um, but uh, let's see the jets I'm not going to do those tonight either I'm probably not going to have time I'll make a separate video on that though it's a little more complicated getting uh, to the carburetor um, putting the jet in will be the easy part getting to it will be the hard part and then these bolts they're not stainless I'll go ahead um, and install it with these probably but uh, I'll probably go get some stainless bolts. These look like 8 millimeter um, regular pitch. They're not fine, it doesn't look like. So, um, first off, though, we got some tools down here. I just got some different sockets, uh, some ratchets, extensions, and some screwdrivers, um, just Phillips heads. But first off, I'll do, um, we'll do some comparisons with the exhaust for uh, before and afters. So uh, give me just a second and we'll fire it up. Okay, this is going to be um, a cold start. I've got my hand there on the exhaust. It's, uh, oh, here. It's, uh, what, 4246, 46 degrees or so out here in the garage. So we'll fire it up here. I have to switch hands. So I'm back probably 20-ish feet or so. Um, I'll go back in the garage and uh, rev it up a little bit and you can hear what it sounds like. So that's the stock. Um, it might sound a little louder because it's echoing in the garage. So we'll turn it back off and we'll start the install. Okay. So uh, let me get a tripod and we'll start. Okay, so uh, I took this cover off here just to help get a little light down below there but there's uh, four bolts holding this on there's uh, let's see where's the one at the one is hiding up in there right there the other one is down below the exhaust and it looks like they're both um, 13 millimeter oh pop the first one off here I'm 
suckers are on there pretty tight. Not gonna take it um, all the way loose yet until we get everything broke loose here. Uh, let's see. There's the next one. It's down below there. Okay, so that's loose. The other two, you gotta get down pretty low. Um, let's see if I can do this without taking a camera off the tripod. Um, I can't hardly see them. Right there. There's two of them. Where am I? Yeah, here. And on the other side, those are 13 millimeter too. Um, let me get those cracked loose. I'm not really going to be able to see anything per se. Because uh, they're up in there, that's for sure. Okay, so here's what ended up being um, on the actual um, head of the motor. They're like big giant acorn nuts almost. So um, ended up needing a swivel, swivel headed ratchet to get that one. It's just in an awkward position, that's for sure. So we'll get, the, get set back up here. Finish taking off the exhaust. Okay, there it is. This thing is uh, considerably heavier than the new one. I'd say it's probably at least half as light. Um, I'm not a scale or anything, but uh, it's definitely lighter, so that's that's gonna help. Um, so we'll get the see what the directions say here. Imagine you probably just bolt it right back on, but. Uh, uh, okay, there we go. So yeah, we gotta make sure that the uh, original exhaust uh, gasket is off of there. We don't want to double gasket it, I don't believe. Um, put new pipe on. The front pipe must go above frame tube. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, you can see it kind of there. Position the pipe. Screw on the fixing nuts. G turns. We don't tighten her yet. And we're gonna line up the rear brackets. And it looks like there's some, okay, the spacers are two different sizes, uh, but the longer spacer between the upper bracket and the frame, okay, let's see, we'll just kind of go through the directions here, and put the short spacer between the frame and the lower bracket, okay, install bolts, don't tighten them too tight yet. So it looks like we're going to tighten the um, actual bolts on the manifold there, snugly. They weren't really that tight. And then we're going to tighten all the brackets up. And we'll fire it up. Like I said, uh, we'll put the jet in it next time. So uh, let me get the pipe over there and we'll get it up, uh, boarded on there. Okay, I um, made sure that there wasn't a gasket still stuck on uh, um, up here on the... Uh, head or whatever um, So we're gonna put this up on there carefully um, 
might be a little tricky. We'll probably have to put that on here once we get the exhaust close. So make sure to go through the frame rail like it says. Okay, so we got it close. Now you're going to want to put your gasket on there. Make sure it's lined up. Okay, so we're at least close. I'm gonna grab the directions. So you can see what the heck's going on in here. Uh, we'll do the top one first. So insert the line up the rear bracket with the hole on the frame. Yeah, the longer spacer between the upper bracket. Upper bracket in the frame. So we're gonna put our. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned or not. I went ahead and went to the store and got stainless bolts, washers, and lock washers. They were eight millimeter. They weren't that expensive, and will make this look much better. So just fish the spacer in there. Right to use our flashlight. Okay, looks like we need to pick up the exhaust. Same with the bottom one. Bolt, hot washer, washer, the um, shorter spacer. Yep, we'll check that we got the shorter one. Um, between the frame and the lower bracket, okay. I'm gonna have to get you down lower here. See there. So on the stock exhaust, it looks like the it looks like the bolts or the um the bracket actually has these spacers already mounted. So we're not gonna go too tight. Looks like our new bolt is a 13 millimeter. The old ones are 12. They're just kind of odd size, sorta. So we're gonna get these. Snuggish. Okay, so we're not going to tighten them yet. We're going to go back down and do the um, manifold bolts. Just as snug, like I said, they weren't they weren't super tight by any means. So you know you don't have to get too crazy. You're not really going to be able to see much, but we'll tighten them back up. Um, okay, forget which socket I used. I think I had to use the short one. That one's seated up. Like 
said, it just says snug. And these things are like, these bolts are like pop metal almost. They don't feel too substantial. Just kind of going back and forth, tightening them up. Got that done. Switch back to our 13 with our extension on it here. And I'll finish these over here up. Hopefully, you can see what the heck I'm doing. Yep, there's the bracket. These were a lot tighter than the others. And move down here to the bottom one. Okay, that's plenty tight. Plenty tight. Okay. I'm gonna get the camera off the tripod here real quick. Okay, so there's the new exhaust is on. A lot shinier. Uh, makes it look pretty good. And got the Prima uh, emblem there, you can see it. So we'll fire it up. Uh, you can just use your hand uh, carefully to check to make sure you don't have any exhaust leaks where it's bolted on um, if you do you can you might have to either just tighten them up a hair or you might have to loosen these two back up um, and tighten them up front there so uh, let me fire it up here switch hands again I'll wait for this truck to go by Definitely louder, that's for sure. Now I'm gonna stick my hand underneath here. I don't hear any exhaust leaks. I think we might have an exhaust On the truck bed again. Definitely sounds like it's got a little more grumble to it.
always good. So uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to. Uh, we'll check. We'll uh, see you next time then. Bye.